This episode of DNews is brought to you by Domain.com. If you've got a box of old batteries sitting around your house, that's not the worst thing you could be doing with them. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of DNews. I'm Amy and you're watching thanks to the miracle of electricity. Electricity we've grown accustomed to carrying around with us thanks to batteries. Electricity is what you get when electrons flow through a conductive path like a wire to create a circuit. And batteries play a key role in that circuit. A typical household battery, like a AA battery, has three basic parts. The negatively charged anode, the positively charged cathode, and the electrolyte typically containing sulfuric acid and water that sits between them. The cathode and anode are the bits that touch your device via the spring and little knobbly bit in the battery well of, say, a flashlight. They're the pieces that close the electrical circuit. The chemical reaction inside a battery causes a buildup of electrons at the anode, which causes a difference in electrical charge between the anode and the cathode. The electrons want to rearrange themselves and balance out this charge, so they repel each other to get to where there are fewer electrons. In a battery, that's the cathode. But the electrolyte in the battery stops the electrons from just hopping over to the cathode. So the only way the electrons can get to where they want to go is to follow a circuit, say through a wire that illuminates the bulb of a flashlight. So why do batteries die? The electrochemical process within a battery actually changes the anode and cathode to the point where they stop supplying electrons. When there are no more electrons, there's no more power in the battery. Rechargeable batteries work by changing the direction of the flow of electrons. The electrochemical process happens in reverse, restoring the anode and cathode to their original states and the battery to full power. And here's the big question. Why exactly can't you throw a non-rechargeable battery away once it's dead? Batteries are made from chemicals found in minerals of heavy metals, minerals that can be poisonous even in a very small amount. So you don't really want them sitting around your house, and you really don't want to throw them away into a landfill where they pose environmental risks. It's best to dispose of batteries properly because if it's done right, batteries can almost or entirely be recycled. Recycling a battery is a multi-stage process. First, the battery is broken apart by a hammer mill such that the lead and heavier pieces fall to the bottom and the lighter plastic pieces float. The plastic pieces are washed, dried, and sent to a plastic recycler. The lead parts are cleaned and heated in a smelting furnace until it is molten. That molten lead is then poured into ingot molds and left to cool so the impurities float to the top. Once the impurities are scraped away, the ingots are left to cool completely before being remelted and used to produce new batteries. Battery acid is either neutralized and turned into water or processed and converted to sodium sulfate, which can be used in laundry detergent, glass, and textile manufacturing. What to do and where to go varies depending on where you live and usually means asking your local government what to do. So how many of you will hold on to your old batteries until you can dispose of them properly? Let us know in the comments below or you can catch me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And don't forget to subscribe for more D News every day of the week.